Virgo, welcome back to the channel. All right, let's take a look and see what's ahead for the week for you, March, my goodness, um, 4th through the March 10th, 2024, okay? Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below. If you want to become a member of my channel, it is $2.99 per month, and there are... Um, You'll get perks. There's perks like you'll get a shout out, a badge, um, cool badge. If you were a member of my channel before, you will um, get to retain your status. Okay, so um, let me give a shout out to those of you who have rejoined or joined um, L33 Sage. Welcome, Charity. Charity's Low Carb Life. Welcome, Mooney Mooney. Hello, Debbie Old School dash one four four two, Chrysalis two seven three five. Welcome, Stella, and I can't remember if I called you guys. I think I did. Uh, Tamatea V Tech Wilson. So yeah, welcome to the H O V gang to the membership. Awesome to have you guys. Okay, so let's get into this now. I know you're waiting. All right, you've got healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting someone wants to date and then you all oh okay you also have coffin and ending brings new beginnings growth change liberation and transition all right virgo let's get into let's see what do we want to start with <clears throat> i think we're going to start with coffin okay because there's something ending this week and um, it's going to bring you a new beginning. Uh, some of you might be like saying rest in peace to a relationship um, or a job or just like, no, it's done. There's a, there's a sense of liberation and feeling free and being able to move forward here with the chariot, okay? It's like, I know what I wanna do. Um, somebody could also be ending something and having a new beginning with you, okay? There's movement, there's progress happening here all right cancer energy there let's take a look and see okay oh what all right someone has okay so if you're ending something with someone virgo or something's ending this week like it's done you might feel a little bit sad but it, that's part of the process um you need to go through that in order to get to the other end like you can't like in order to get to the light at the end of the tunnel, you have to go through the tunnel, okay? So, um, you know, it's a five, so it's a little bit of uncertainty and feeling kind of mismanaged as far as like your emotions go. But I feel like Spirit wants you to know that it's a really good thing, okay? Some of you just needed to put that last nail in the coffin on a job or on a relationship or something and needed to just be done here okay this week so let me see what else and if you're ending something i feel like and you're moving on i feel like someone's sad definitely going to be sad it could be a cancer but someone's sad about maybe they think you're running away from something running away from a relationship or they got caught cheating um or something along those lines or someone was just being deceitful you know, either way, like, there's two people here knowing, like, going through some kind of emotional regret or some kind of loss this week, okay? So, I really felt like we needed to get that out of the way here. Let me just take a look and see what else. Okay. Yeah, look. Hmm. That's really different, isn't it? So, I kind of feel like everything kind of works itself out though you know what I mean um and I'm also getting a sense like here's Sagittarius as well there could be some kind of connection with a Sagittarius something new could be happening with a Sag um but there also is this energy of like whomever you're walking away from um if you're if you are if you make a decision this week to walk away from someone to end something and move on because it's something that happened. I feel like this person, I feel like there's gonna be some communication from them, 
about trying to work something out here trying to bring you guys like bring some balance and harmony back into the relationship okay that's interesting because it's kind of like I don't know if it's you there's someone here who's ending something to have some kind of new beginning but then there's communication hmm so I feel like someone is going to try to talk to you and try to restore balance into a relationship. You're going silent, it looks like. If you end something here this week, it looks like you're going silent, like you're withdrawing, you're pulling in. Hmm. There's something here that has to do with like relocation or someone who's being very stubborn about that or just... not wow two cards of like moving forward i feel like someone was not going to want to let you go but that's you know that doesn't matter if this has something to do with transitioning or taking a step forward movement facing fears going after the ninth cup the wishes if someone's refusing to do that and but still doesn't want to let you go i kind of feel like that's what's happening so you know whatever that's on them like if it looks to me like you're moving on or at least moving forward this week with something that's coming to an end or you're putting an end to something or someone's putting an end to something and you're just moving forward and yeah, there's going to be some communication. Someone's going to try to restore some type of balance or harmony to the relationship. But at the same time, they're not they're not budging. Their their emotions want to go, their thoughts want to go, but the physical, they're not budging. They're not going to budge. What Virgo should do. Okay. So you got the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, okay. Ooh, and the King of Swords. So you obviously have a decision between two people. I feel like you're one of these cards here. You're one of these signs. And there's two other people around you. Hmm. Show me what's going on with this Queen of Swords. Okay. Queen of Swords has a Knight of Cups. King of Cups has the Queen of Cups. The F. And the King of Swords has the Strength card. Okay, so the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups are a match. The Queen of Swords is trying to be clear, give love, wants romance, all of that. The King of Cups is looking for a perfect match, the perfect match. I don't know if that's you or somebody else. The King of Swords, there's something here about courage and strength. Okay, so... I feel like these are three separate stories going on here. So if you're dealing with a sword, an air sign, or if you are dealing with a water sign, book a personal reading with me and we can try and see what the heck is going on. Just mention this reading so you know we can pinpoint exactly what's going on. But there's There's definitely involvement with you and, and two other people. Queen of Swords is looking for romance and stability. The King of Cups, you know, is struggling with a Queen of Cups, okay? Um, feeling trapped. The King of Swords is trying to gain some strength to figure out something or make some kind of decision going forward, okay? Um, but as energies, it feels mostly like there's a lot of communication happening this week about restrictions, restricted emotions, needing to make a decision, needing to gain courage to make a decision about something, and needing to be firm, putting up boundaries, and telling another person what they want, okay? I, maybe you've already done that. I don't know, Virgo, but I, I definitely feel like something, it's like, yeah, somebody's ready for a new beginning. Make There's a transition that needs to be had. And there's an energy here of the old is done. It's time to start something new. Whether that's having a new job, relocating to a new place, starting a new relationship, or 
changing the dynamics of an old relationship, whichever it is, it's like rest in peace, done with this energy, okay? And if you are walking away from someone, I mean, there's definitely going to be other suitors here, okay? Because you amazing, Virgo, keep that in mind, you know, um, but then there's also, a, I picked up an energy of someone not wanting to let go, wanting to still hold on um, and bring balance and restore something, but not really making any major chess moves. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now you also have, I like you and healthy choices. All right, Virgo. So there's definitely someone here who wants to date you, is showing up that wants to date you. Is it this person that you're cutting off? It could be. They could be making that decision, you know, but wanting is one thing. Doing is a completely different thing, okay? So there's a little bit of flirting. Somebody's interested in you. Let's see who this is for this week. Well, well, there you go. Could be a fire sign, but there's definitely an energy of like, wow, things are going to move really quick. Um... It's like fantasy. It's like, oh, you're you're just like everything. So romance is blooming, right? This is this is the energy here. I want to learn more about you. I want to know more about you. I don't understand. So that's like the that love blooming energy here. What the hell is going on, Virgo? At, yeah, there could be a date. Somebody's got you on a pedestal or just thinks very highly of you or holds you in high esteem. Oh, wow. The devil. Oh, wow. Okay, somebody has um, an issue with a toxic mother or co-parents with someone and it's toxic and they're healing from that. Could be an Aquarius coming in. This could be a Capricorn or a Libra showing up here that's interested in you. They could be a mother themselves or a parent. There's like a very strong physical kind of thing, addiction or attraction, like obsession, like a sexual lust kind of thing. Somebody might be famous or in the spotlight. Okay, let's see. There's dating and flirting and whew. Somebody though, I, I'm not too comfortable with this face. This is the John Travolta of the tarot. Um, there's a smugness here. This is kind of like someone who indulges and like, all right, if you're female, like this person collects trophies for women, could have a tendency or they've had a lot and they, they kind of wear it proudly. If you're female or um, that's how they're viewing you, like you're some kind of like trophy or something. And, but I don't know, it doesn't seem sincere. You know, that is the nine of cups. So that is a wish card. Um, hmm. But they're breadcrumbing as well. Like they don't give very much. Yeah. So yeah, just because someone likes you doesn't mean that's the one. Okay. There's a lot of flirtatiousness energy this week from somebody. A lot. Um, are you going to see that through? Maybe. I'm not going to advise you either way. I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing here. That there is some toxic energy attached to this with the devil whenever the devil comes out like i know some readers are like you know the devil's not always bad but it is obsessive and it does have an element of possession and control all right virgo so i feel like with that you know somebody's showing up and they're like really into you and they're flirting with you and things are moving quickly um uh, there's just this like i'm totally obsessed with you but i'm not gonna I don't have everything. I can't give you it all. You know, I can only give you a little bit, right? I only have little bits to give. So I'm just kind of spreading myself thin and sharing with everyone. This is someone who's like a philanthropist, <laughs> you know? They, I don't feel like this, there's like a committed kind of energy here with this person, whoever whoever shows up for you this week. I mean, sure, you're likable, Virgo. People like you. What are you going to do? But not everyone who likes you has good intentions for you. So you have to just kind of suss that out yourself there and make healthy choices for yourself in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and be happy. Being happier. What's it going to take for Virgo? 
What's it going to take for you to be happy in your life, Virgo? Wow. <laughs> be yourself, Virgo. Be proud of who you are. Okay. Um, I wrote this thing earlier um, today, and if you're listening to this on Monday, uh, I put it on my Facebook about only pick good fruit, Virgo. You know, um, don't waste your time with unripened or rotten fruit. You'll you'll know someone is good and right for you by the by their fruits, and that's true. It's like when you go to the grocery store. You're feeling all the apples or the pears, the avocados. You're only going to pick the ones that are ripe. You know, the ones that are spotty or look like they're rotting or they're getting old. Or, or even if they're not ripe, maybe you pick the ones that are ripe. But you're going to put them on your windowsill. They're on the back burner. Nobody, nobody picks rotten fruit when they go to the grocery store. So why are you doing that in your relationships? You'll know people by their fruits. And you'll know when someone is the right one for you because you'll never have any doubts. If you have any doubts about somebody, they're not the one. They're just not the one. Even if they tell you, like words are words, like without action or nothing, you know? So it doesn't matter what people say. No people, fruit by their fruits, that's what's tangible. So your healthy choice is making clear decisions, being crystal clear with yourself, being honest with yourself. And don't have high expectations of low people, low energy people, low vibing people, because you'll just be constantly disappointed. Yeah, look, because that'll keep you trapped and restricted. And feel like you're, it's your at fault for a relationship not, not working out. The only fault you would be is if you didn't choose right or you didn't choose correctly not everybody's a bad person some people desire so much to be in a relationship but they're not capable of it so it doesn't matter what people want and what people desire it's what they're willing to do if they're willing motivated and capable to fulfill it then you won't have to have any doubt or ask any questions because you'll see it in action okay so no matter what people want what they come in you know with their love bombing or the offers that's being made you know one thing i could tell you at least about this knight of cups is the knight of cups is not just offering their cup but they're coming in on a horse like they're moving forward do you know what i mean so that's two things together um when you make healthy choices for yourself um i feel like that's very attractive I feel like that's like very attractive to other people and that means like when you have boundaries so there's a fire sign who's going to be coming into your life and making a love offer to you possibly this week aries leo sag i don't know if you know them or if you don't know them you might you might not is it a past person well i don't see that it is but it it could be for some of you you know um <clears throat> excuse me I'm a little under the weather today. I don't know why. <clears throat> oh, gosh. You're going to, Virgo, I feel like if you accept a love offer from a king of wands, masculine or feminine, this person is all the way, baby. All the way. This Knight of Cups, when they just, when the Knight of Cups just shows up on their own, it's just romantic, fleeting. But with this, this is like, no, I'm, I'm making these romantic offers to Virgo because I want to have the very end. Like, I want to see it through. I'm going to see it through. Oh, wow, Virgo. And maybe the healthy choice is choosing to accept an offer from this person. Now, listen, you need to be discerning, right? Just because I'm saying a king of, a king of wands, they could have fire in their chart anywhere. It doesn't have to be their son. And if you were with someone before that, you know, like, no, that's not it. Just because I'm telling you that that person is showing up here doesn't mean you you have to discern once you click off that video. Like, you have to discern. Okay. So, you're making better choices. 
decisions. You're making better decisions. And some of you, this has something to do with putting a nail in the coffin and walking away, maybe blocking and starting over, start having a new chapter in your life. I feel like some of you are going to travel when I look at the world and I see those two swords are like the wings of a plane. I feel like some of you, well, I hope those are not the actual wings because uh, some of you are going to go on that, um, take that flight for the eclipse or you might get invited to go do that. The eclipse flight. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Just to see the eclipse, to be up in a plane. Okay. Libra energy here. Pisces. Wow. I feel like this message here is you intuitively know what the right thing is to do for yourself. You intuitively know what the truth is. Pay attention. Scorpio here let go of something so you can have a new beginning that's part of your healthy choice if something is dead in the water if something is over or something's just not working let go of that and move forward accept the new love offer that's coming in and give that a chance because you never know like i mean i just feel like it's heading to the ten of cups there's a great chance of that and you know yeah you're gonna feel sad if something's ending with a king of swords masculine or feminine air energy someone that just kind of cold and emotionless um, more heady than emotion or passion there might be some sadness to go along with that or some grief that you'll have to deal with but that's okay virgo because you will get back to work and uh get to a point where i feel like it just won't matter to you like you'll be apathetic towards it like it's whatever you'll get over it that's part of your healthy choice it's like accepting that if something is ending or you need to make new choices in your life accept the fact that you're going to go through a grief process allow yourself to go through that grief process and then don't stay down in grief too long take enough time that you need for yourself self-care to be happy to love yourself to eat better what does she got carrots or corn I don't even know you know whatever it is well, look at her hairdo it's so cute whatever you need to do Virgo you know go through the process and trust the process I have a hole go through the process and trust the process for what you need to do for yourself right always choose you Virgo first always choose you <clears throat> I do see a, a new beginning happening in love though for you once you start making these healthy choices and put something into action. Some of you intuitively know the right thing to do is end something. Now, for some of you, this person's going to want a, a second chance. So for some of you, that is somebody that maybe you know already that you're making better choices. And maybe that's someone that you're putting a nail in the coffin with. Um, and I told you that person isn't going to let you go, but I didn't really see them budging. Okay. Healing from a twin flame connection for some of you, okay? That twin flame has triggered old wounds in you. You've learned the lesson. Now it's time to forgive yourself or another if you choose to help you move forward. Anything else for Virgo? Okay. And you've got leap of faith. So the spirit's saying, you know what, Virgo? It's safe to make the move you're considering. This is the right move. Whatever move you're considering, Virgo, in your heart, in your head, they're in alignment. It's time. Take that leap of faith. It's it's you're gonna be okay. It's safe for you to do that. All right. So let's see what some Chinese signs are showing up here for you, Virgo. Okay, you could be a Virgo dragon, a dog, a rat, a pig, a goat. A rabbit a monkey or a rooster okay so if you're any of those that would be more more of a qualifier for you that this is your reading but it doesn't necessarily if you if that's not you it doesn't mean it's not your reading okay let's get into some initials and all that jazz okay september 4th september 8th somebody might be 48 49 50 uh august 25th the letter Q, I see someone drink, like drinking a drink with um, a straw. And also I see someone is like legit going to see a PG movie. 
or watching a PG movie. Someone's vying for your attention this week, for sure. Um, I just heard Aiello, like the last name, but we also have the letter I, the letter E, the letter A. Uh-oh, something fell. Oh, two things fell. Okay. Um, soap. I'm just hearing soap. <laughs> um, letter S. We got A again. The letter O. Initial O. Someone's born in October. Okay, we got the letter I. Again, lots of I's. ISS. 1964, 1968. Okay, someone's born in 78. We have the age 43. The letter Y. Someone is 36. We're getting a lot of high numbers here. Uh, phone number 7064. And someone's born in 1970. Um, 8936, 4378. Uh, someone lives in area code 805. Okay, someone is 59. Someone is 48. Um, somebody's last name is Mayberry. I just heard. Anya, A-N-Y-A. -A, Anya, I think it is. Um, okay, and you have a snowflake here, Virgo. So <laughs> you've either got someone who is acting like a snowflake, like they're, they're air, like an airhead. They're just flaky. They're saying you've got someone here who's flaky um, or you're feeling a bit flaky. Um, you also have like, obviously there's a snowstorm coming this week for somebody, a big one, another one, <laughs> or you live in a snowy area. And you also have this dropped out. This is amazing. I love this. You have a butterfly. So there's transformation. For some of you in your area, spring is coming. You might get one more snowstorm before the spring. But this is total transformation. A major change. is There's a shift happening this week. I don't know where the moon's at. I should probably look. Let's see. Well, the 10th is a new moon, March 10th. So maybe you are transitioning up to the new moon because the new moon is always about, you know, the new beginnings, having these new beginnings. So this week, yeah, the new moon is March 10th. So there's a transitioning. I feel like on the 10th, it's like ready to go. This week is going to be a bit of transition and change. That's what I'm hearing, even with that butterfly. And that's a sign to let you know there's something is shifting this week. Um, and it feels like an out with the old and with the new kind of thing for some of you, but there's a major shift happening um, and a change. And around the 10th is when things are going to be like starting brand new for you. Like, I feel like you turn the page. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to leave that there. I know it was kind of short. Well, it was 30 minutes, so it's not too, too short. Leave a comment. Let me know if that resonated for you or if you, or you could leave it in the chat, whichever. And I will see. I have some like really cool, exciting news coming up real soon for you guys. But I know I shouldn't say anything, but I'm super excited about it. <laughs> the potential for it. So I'll wait until it's all confirmed. But yes, I will. I'll let you guys know when that happens. But do become a member of my channel, please. If you enjoy my readings, subscribe. Um, personal reading link is in the description box below. And do follow my page on Facebook. Just go to my LinkedIn, my link tree, not my LinkedIn. Go to my link tree. The, the link is below in the description box and you can follow me on Facebook there. All right, you guys, and Instagram. All right, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Love ya, bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye